Hey there, it's Mike at Mac Digital Media. Uh, today is August the 3rd, 2020. I uh, just have another quick tip for you. Uh, in case you were looking for the means to change between uh, time code and frames, on, uh, and for that matter, uh, to, to even see for non drop that type, drop or non drop frame time code, uh, the way to do it is you have to. Uh, on a Macintosh, you hold down the command key and you click in this timecode value window. And as you see, now it's going between all the options that you have for that particular time base that you're in. Uh, of course, the uh, semicolons indicate uh, drop frame for um, uh, Premiere. Uh, colons are non-drop frame. Then you get into 16 millimeter feet and frames, uh, 35 millimeter feet and frames, and then of course just frames. Uh, also, by the way, for the PC users, it's control click uh, for the PC. Command click for the Mac PC, it would be control click. And then there's one extra thing that you get as well. If you get into the tab for the particular sequence, you can say show audio time units. And now you get the added bonus of being able to click between milliseconds and samples. And quite honestly, I am trying to figure out which would be the samples versus the um, milliseconds if somebody could tell me for sure I'm pretty sure this longer one is the samples and the shorter one is the um, uh, for milliseconds anyway but if I'm wrong please correct me I would love to know for sure um, and uh, another thing I wanted to mention to you though too is also by the way you have to turn off that show audio time units if you want to go back to frames and time code values OK, um, if you go up into the sequence settings, this is another handy, th handy thing to know about in the sequence settings. This is where you have, say, our time base is the twenty nine nine seven for our sequence currently. Uh, and this can be changed here. You can change it to any number of these different time bases um, if necessary. Um, and then you get these different options. So it shows you the different options you have available depending on what you choose. If you go up to 5994, now you're going to get just a few different things uh, for, for uh, your choices. Uh, likewise, 23976, you'd get, uh, you know, you'd be back to having some of these um, options, but then depending on what you choose for some of these other things. Not sure why you would need 15 frames per second here, but that's available. And then see your, your options change there as well. Uh, and a thing I wanted to tell you about too was just kind of a, a thing to watch out for, particularly if you are doing any sort of thing similar to what I'm doing here, where uh, I, I do a lot of frame capture type stuff for clients to help uh, demonstrate different things to them uh, or like we're doing this tutorial right here uh, I'll do a lot of um, frame grabs and uh, actually recording video right off my computer monitor like I'm doing now anyway though the thing I wanted to tell you about the warning was when you do these videos like this and you're doing the screen capture you don't always necessarily get the frame rate that you think you're gonna get now in this particular case, I've got this example here where I had a, another tutorial that I had worked on. And you're seeing the frame rate is this oddball 5218, you know? Uh, I, I don't know if it was, maybe it was trying to hit 5994 or 60 or 50. I don't know what it was trying to hit, but this is what it is. And that's, that's a totally oddball kind of frame rate. And what's gonna happen is if you take this and put it into a sequence and make a sequence out of it. Uh, you know, you'll get your time code here at first, but then if you click and if you click in here, now you get the frames. And unfortunately, you keep clicking your command key or your control key on the PC, and it won't get out of frames. And you're like, ah, how do I get my frames back? What's going on? And 
lots of times, you know, if you happen to be recording something and this happens and you're like, what is going on? How do I fix this? Go up to the sequence settings. And then here again, this is, this is where you're seeing that you're gonna only have frames. Oh, it's only giving me frames because it's got this oddball time base. If you put it closer to something that would be appropriate, now you should have more options. So at least you can get back into uh, um, time code values that you're a little more familiar with. Here you can command click back to uh, drop frame time code. Anyway, I just want to let you know that that's a potential gotcha because it definitely got me where I brought in this, uh, you know, into the stuff that was uh, screen capture, screen recorded, brought it right into a sequence, tried to work with it, and then was stuck in frames mode and, and it took me forever to try to figure out why this was doing this. Anyway, if you have any uh, further questions and comments, be sure and leave something uh, there on the page or you can shoot me an email. I'd be happy to talk to you anytime if you have any uh, things that are stumping you and we can, you know, I can try to help help figure it out for you if you're ever in a pinch. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot and have a great day.